It's where John and Carol Duffield chose to build a life. Had been for many years. Uncle Johnny, as I called him, he was uh, working in car sales. Their main commitment is their kids. Kelly, a high school senior who works as a car hop part-time. Paul, the middle child, who adores his sisters. And Janelle, who loves acting and playing softball. They're very close-knit. The fact that Kelly might have ran from the house in her night clothes created even a bigger urgency to try to locate her because she could have been injured too. In this weather, she won't survive long. And one vanished. Paul had been severely beaten. Janelle was killed. Kelly was missing. He's totally innocent. Just a grieving father whose family has been destroyed without warning. John and Carol were very adamant that, that Kelly was not involved as a suspect, that she had to be a victim in there. The crime scene didn't lend itself to Kelly having been involved in this, that there had to be somebody else. Perhaps some shadowy figure grew obsessed with the beautiful girl and snatched her away. Kelly's boyfriend wasn't a big guy. So he just didn't seem like a suspect to me, but nothing made sense. And I guess in a way that made everything seem possible. It is an extreme bombshell. It appeared that they had discovered a major break or a motive for her killing. Whoever the father of that child was could have had motive to kill her. Was that something that the boyfriend uh, was trying to cover up once he was made aware of it? Was he made aware of it? Does she have another boyfriend? Police start by re-interviewing Kelly's boyfriend, Nathaniel Avery. He swears he knew nothing about the pregnancy. Janelle? Finally, he found Janelle. Kelly. Come with me or I kill your whole family. Cade drove her to a remote area. He raped her. And then he says, I'm going to let you go. I'm not going to kill you. I won't say anything. You better not. I won't. I promise. You can trust me. Either he thought that the easiest way to kill her would be to let her out of the car and run up behind her and hit her and kill her that way. several times at that point. Drags her clear back to where his car was and drops her into the, uh, uh, the drainage culvert where she was eventually found. Clearly, this was no dream. Rather, a twisted way to confess. 